This is the rear bulkhead panel for the Triumph TR6. It's actually, strictly speaking, completely correct for a TR4A, TR5, TR250, and then the very first TR6s. This specific one is actually going to a customer with a TR6. Uh, the lots of lines version, as we call it, where you've got all of these lines. I think there's 17 or 19 lines there. Um, that is strictly only applicable on the TR6 range to so the cars with chassis numbers before CP or CC 50,000. So 1969, briefly into 1970. And then they switched to two horizontal lines for the majority of the TR6. In terms of the actual panel itself, which is 2.55 millimeter hardboard, uh, which is the correct specification for this sort of era of car. Uh, and definitely the correct uh, thickness for it for suitable little purpose. Uh, it's cut and iron house CNC machine. Uh, it has the pilot guide holes for the screws and washers to fit it in um, and attach to the car. Uh, the panel itself is the same shape on the TR4As, TR5s, TR250s and the TR6s. The only difference was effectively the colours and the aesthetic finish of the HFRF weld lines on the front of it there. The TR4, however, was different. The TR4, this area here changed significantly, all related to the fairly large overhaul of the hood frame metalwork uh, that on the TR4s, obviously you lifted off the hood um, and then you stored the metalwork behind the three-piece squab unit at the back of the car, whereas the TR4A onwards, they stored the hood frame and hood behind uh, with a hood frame envelope covering it up. So basically the hood frame element was a lot bulkier on the later cars, the TR4As upwards, and therefore they changed the design of the wheel arch, made it um, effectively flatter on the wheel arch, which meant that this area here had to be bigger on both the bulkhead panel and the rear quarter panel. Lots more details on our website about that. Sorry, I've just geeked out on you completely there. Um, going back to this. So this has been done in uh, shadow blue vinyl. We can also offer it in leather. And when we do offer it in leather, we have uh, the correct settings, etc., that we can still do all of the embossing on there. We're one of the only companies in the world that can offer that. Bear that in mind. Shadow blue is an original Triumph colour. Uh, we sometimes refer to it as pale shadow blue on our website. This is to save any confusion with um, many non-Triumph uh, customers that want a bespoke custom finish. Uh, it's caused confusion in the past because the shadow suggests uh, a darker blue than it actually is. So we put the word pale in there to make sure people don't get too confused. Um, so yeah, uh, vinyl, shadow blue, lots of lines as we can see here. So effectively embosses into the vinyl and creates this padded effect here. Uh, like I say, the later TR6s had just two going horizontally like that. Um, the hardboard, as I've mentioned, is the correct spec, which allows for the bend and curvature. You can see like that, so it bends round and the quarter panels would match up to that end. We leave tails on the quarter panels so it tucks underneath. Again, see another video to that uh, to explain that element there. So uh, yeah, see our website for more details.